This is Mary, the one with the earbuds. And this is Hi, Nicole. Hi. We are both local Metro West business owners, avid networkers, and supporters of our local communities. My motto has always been shop local, support local, give local. So we can't really do the physical connection and supporting right now, but we uh, reinvented ourselves and uh, innovated, and we're doing this all the virtual way now. <laughs> Correct. So Nicole is the owner of Photo Fabulous U, where she and her team make superstars on LinkedIn. Her business is located in Westboro. And Mary is a mompreneur who runs two social selling businesses from home. She sums one up by saying, I dress men and also helps people conquer their hair bows. Awesome. So we're excited to welcome Mark Mercer today. He's the owner of Under Pressure Power Washing. It is a company that's celebrating over 20 years in business, helping commercial and residential customers maintain and revive, and I can say mine was revived for sure, their properties. Mark fell in love with the art of exterior cleaning back in 1999 when he was cleaning pool decks for a pool cleaning company. He enjoyed the process of reviving the appearance of the property. Many years and thousands of properties later, he still loves what he does. In his own words, there's nothing better than pulling up to a customer's home, knowing that the house will smile when we're done with it. Mark moved to Hopkinton in 2010 with his wife, Corey, and two children who are missing school right now for sure. He loves being outdoors and is an avid mountain biker, riding his bike daily these days. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into the, sure. the first question. So what's uh, what's the service that you are uh, um, actually offering? I mean, Mary already mentioned a little bit, but maybe you can like, what's what's the pain point you hear like from people? Like, the, why would they call you like basically? So what do you help yeah. them with? So it's interesting right now that everybody's sort of home, right? And and one of the things that we do is we specialize in, in helping homeowners to, to reclaim their house or to maintain their property. And that's something, like I said, that Mary said, I fell in love with that long ago of being able to take a house that's been sitting there. Maybe it's been neglected a little bit because everyone's busy and we revive it and sort of bring it back to life. And there's nothing better than when a homeowner comes home or watches um what we're able to do when you're using the right technique, you're able to revive a deck that's been sitting there. It looks like you need to replace it when really you just need to sort of skim it. It brings the wood back to life or the siding on your house or your, or your roof. So we help residential customers clean everything from the roof down to the foundation of their house, their gutters, the windows, the siding, your pool decks, your patio. So it helps your house feel more like home. It feels cleaner and neater. And I, I can tell you that a lot of times our services like quickly people will bring in flowers after we provide a service because now they're out, out on their patio more or their deck more and they start putting flowers where they didn't have it before because they take pride in their house again. So that's my favorite part about what we do is mm -hmm. helping to love their house again. So, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and are you doing any services right now? Like what does it look like in your world? Yeah, so so we are. So we started, um, we were like many contractors where at first we just put the brakes on and said, are we allowed to wash? And we, I started connecting with towns first. Like, so I live in Hopkinton. And so I reached out to the Parks and Rec, said, how can we help? Same thing with Framingham, Ashland, Wellesley. And, and so we wanted their permission before we started doing any sort of cleaning of, of uh, sites, like playgrounds and things like that. And, and they've told us to, to wait until we get sort of the green light. And so so now we are washing, right? We're washing parking garages for commercial spaces, storefronts, we're doing residential properties, although that market's a little on the slower side because homeowners are just aren't sure what they should even be doing. Doing Should they spend money right now? Should they maintain their house? And I think it's a, a phenomenal time to walk around the house and look to see, does it need some love here and there, you know? So, so we are probably running probably half of what we normally would run right now. So, so which is better than being stalled out. Right. So we're, we're doing okay. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So I just have to say personally, Mark did our old house as well yeah. as our new house. Um, I can see the bug that he caught because before I knew about his service, yeah. um, I borrowed from a friend, a power washer and did our back. It was like stamped concrete 
and there's a real satisfaction yeah. to <laughs> blasting the crap out of it and seeing the difference. Um, but it was amazing. We had a lot of stuff growing on the roof. Um, yeah. And you see that and you think, oh, you need a new roof. And true to what Mark said, it was amazing. Yeah. Just, you know, cleared it right off. So, yeah. um, Mark, I know you're a big outdoorsman. What yeah. what has been the most challenging thing for you personally or for your business in this crazy pandemic? I think as a business owner or leader or dad or husband, it's kind of like what, like people look to me to make decisions first and sort of guide. And so I think that's the biggest challenge for me as a, as a business owner um, is what steps do I take and is it going to lead to the right path, right? So there's so much unknown going on right now. So if I choose to to take my cruise and work and then there's some something happens with our crews getting sick because we're not following certain unknown protocols yet. And this was months or weeks ago, but it's that unknown and in, in trying to make a decision off of that. But I think, you know, we've been in a really good place to be able to sort of prepare. And uh, one of the things I think my father taught me long ago was just to be able to, to be able to pivot, right. To be able to shift gears and, and, and uh, multitask and just use the skills that I, that I have and, and to sort of keep things flowing. So I would say that's probably been the biggest challenge is the unknown and, and, wondering if the decision I'm making as a business owner is going to negatively affect someone somewhere. So, but I, we've followed all the guidelines that, that our, our governor or any, you know, anyone that's recommended what, you know, the steps that we take. And so we, I feel like we're in a really good place right now. So I, um, baby steps is the name of the game right now until we know what's going on, you know? So, but, uh, as far as my advice to homeowners or, or friends and family out there is to, is to get outside. One of the things that I personally do is I love being outdoors. It's something that I grew up in North Carolina, moved up here 20 something years ago, and that's still in my roots. I love being outside. So if you, if you haven't been outside, I'm sure most folks have, but taking those daily walks in the rain or, or shine has really sort of served me well. I've started a garden. I've started new hobbies that were actually <laughs> rekindled old hobbies that I've had. So those have really been um, powerful for me right now to be able to to do those. So, so I would highly recommend that. <laughs> it's so funny because it all sounds very uh, familiar because I also planted some seeds on, on yeah. Sunday and uh, I'm actually taking walks now, uh, even when it rains. I put my yeah. jacket on. I mean, yesterday I did not, but <laughs> it was a little bit windy for that but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the storm from yesterday. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, I love the, I love walking in the rain. So yeah, it's it's my kids love it too. They, they'll go out. I mean, I'm, I'm able to connect with my kids more. I'm sure most people are, but my kids are outside. Like we give our kids iPad time. They'll get an hour a day, but then they also go outside and they'll take their shoes off and they shake everything off and they plant their feet in the grass, which is it's therapeutic. I can tell you it's a cleansing for them. It's like a little mini yoga session for them. So, <laughs> so. Awesome. Mark, what's the first thing you do when, uh, when, uh, when this is all over? What, uh, what's yeah. on, on your wish list? I think that's the biggest, you know, that's the biggest question. So there's two ways I look at that. One is like, I want to see my friends again. I want to have a barbecue and sit by the fire and things like that. But I think for me, the biggest thing that I think about is what does the new normal look like? And I think our society has been on this path of everyone's going hundred miles an hour. I have friends that leave their house at five in the morning, drive to Boston, come back at seven 30 at night to see their kids and um, I don't know. For me, it's like the normal was not that good. I like seeing, you know, business was good and, you know, all of that. But I hope that our society will somehow shift a little bit and say, what's really important to me now that I've had this time to reflect on, on who I am as a person, who I am as a husband or wife or business owner. And so and sort of shift gears into what serves our, them better, or their families better, and our society better. Because it's, it feels like we could all have a little a real hard start where we refresh, you know? So that would be my, my biggest thing is trying to find out who I am right now and, and, and go back to the normal with the, with the new me, you know? So that's my, uh, my path anyways, you know? That's a great one. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Thanks. Well, thank you so much. I think this concludes our uh, little interview and a little glimpse into your world, Mark. Thanks. Um, so we, we uh, list all the information is listed with this video. Um, we, the contact information, your website, phone number, and everything that you want awesome. to list is going to be with this one. And uh, we also want to make sure that ones that watch this, that they are um, going to share the love, the, the little, yeah. uh, the, join the little love train that we're doing here. So 
Thanks. You all want them to share share this video and uh, share it with their community, share it with their friends, because we all know we need some uh, to to get some some love on our house. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Get it. Get it clean. <laughs> yeah. Nicole and Mary, thanks so much. Like I said, I appreciate the opportunity to chat with you today. I know that there's a lot of people out there that are hurting, and so um, I feel grateful for being able to continue to work. So I'm going to do what I can um, and uh, around the community, but uh, grateful for what you're doing because I know it's important. And these types of little things like this, they, they they make a big difference, right? So they it can help people connect and they bring a little bit of joy, and that's really what it's all about right now is seeking the joy, right? So thanks. I love it. it. Awesome. Thank you. So we'll just end by saying, don't forget to shop local in any way you can these days. Support local, give local. And in the meantime, stay healthy, strong, sane, and fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks.